What is going on guys? This I'm so excited about. This is an Archimedes screw turbine and it's a project that I've been wanting to work on for a really long time. I just wasn't totally sure how to go about it. And right now the last part, um, well, it's it's been finicky while printing. So I decided I'll come out here, talk about the parts. And make this is the motor that we use on all of our projects. Is this? I get called out if I get this wrong. Okay, this one isn't labeled. But when I bought it, this one was labeled as a 350 watt DC, 12 volt DC motor. My other one is the exact same thing, but is labeled as a 250. We have never seen an output that high, so, but I'm sure they probably are capable of it. We just haven't seen it. So I'll call it the 250 to be on the safe side. This one's not labeled, so. But we have a 20 tooth uh, GT2 pulley on the shaft of the motor and we have an 80 tooth pulley on the uh, shaft running through the Archimedes screw. So that gives us a four to one ratio. So every time this spins once, our motor will spin four times. And I brought a drill out here so we can actually get a little test before we're out in the field. And I think it's actually gonna spin pretty quickly, but I'm worried about the torque. Like this motor isn't super hard to turn, but when you have a gear ratio like or a ratio like that then it's a lot harder to turn but this doesn't seem too bad so we'll have to see once the loads on it so let's hook up the drill and get a 12 volt 12 volt is our goal and then if we can get 12 volts and it's not bad we'll put a load on it and see here how it does but one the part that's printing is the uh face plate or that's what i'm calling it the face plate which will sit like this and we'll just be a little base and i have little holes in it so I can put spikes in it and this way it gives it a bit of an angle honestly where I think I'm gonna be testing I probably can just have it lay horizontally and the water is flowing fast enough that it would just go through it but it would probably also drag this down the river with it so the goal is to have it like this and like gravity take over but that's where I'm worried that the water is just gonna spin on the inside of this and not actually spin the turbine so let's get it hooked up and see and it'll be nice when it doesn't just want to roll around and flop on you. All right, I'll see you in a second. We got the drill hooked up to it, and yeah. I'll just, I'll look at it, and then I'll figure out how to show you guys it. All right, if it's going the right direction, it should light up. And I'll slowly speed up so you can see, like this is a... I'm gonna try the other way. Something tells me it might need to spin. It's always the wrong direction, whatever way I have the wires. Oh, there we go. It's, it's already lighting up. Oh, that's... All right, that's 13 volts right there. That's actually... That's not that much speed, and also, I was expecting to hear a lot more grinding. This actually might be the quietest turbine I've ever made. You know what, let's just jump right into it. It's working too well, let's get on. Now that you guys hopefully saw how much voltage it was making, let's jump in and, I don't know, let's go crazy. Let's just throw two on there. All right, now that we got that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Let's see how much power it will make. Or how hard it will be to spin. I'm just gonna watch it for this one, and if it works, I'll show you guys. And then if that and if that works, well, we might as well go test it because now I'm. There's a lot of torque. I'm gonna put it on the drill setting one. This is not the world's most powerful drill, and this is also a concern I have of the torque. I think I mentioned that, but if that is an issue and we can actually increase speed, like if it's spinning fast enough and the torque's too high, I think I can, I, I already have them. I have a 60 tooth pulley, so it would drop it down to a three to one. 
So then we could, it would only spin three times for every time that this spins once. So that would, should significantly drop the torque required to spin it. But I think the water, if the water's flowing fast enough, I think it'll have no problem spinning this. So it's making about eight volts and 25 volts. They're touching there. Ah, uh, they're touching back there. I was gonna say it's. it's That's on setting one, the drill. I wonder if it shows me. I think that, no, I, I don't know. Unless it's zero to 400 and zero to 1500. So that might be right there, 400 RPM. That kind of makes sense, except that seems low. All right, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but now we have the two heaters on. Hopefully there's no wires touching. I will say, I don't think my drill is happy, so we're gonna drop back into that first, that first drill setting. So here's setting one. Should have way more torque. So I think, at this point, we've now proved the concept that this turbine can work as long as it has enough torque, as long as there's enough torque of the water applied onto it. So I think it'll work. I just had a thought that I just need to verify. We're gonna connect all of this back together, right? And that's it. Um, no, I'm gonna connect one more heater to my two, leave it in the low power setting and see if there's, oh. Hmm. Don't try this at home, kids. I need to strip the wire. And I really don't feel like getting wire strippers. But like I said, don't try this at home, so it's fine. And I'm on camera, so, you know, you're protected. I don't even think I got any wire in my mouth somehow, but just in case. All right, so now that that's done, let's get this in here. Let's get another one in here. Let's try it again. In theory, it should see a 50% increase in uh, power at the same speed. I think I have to spin it backwards. I think that was the direction. I can't remember, but it just pulled 25 watts, which I remember being like the same. Maybe it's speed, maybe it's a uh, speed dependent. Oh. It made way more power. I saw over 50 watts. Right now it's 54, 55, 13 volts. At 14 volts at 57.
But I don't think the uh, the Milwaukee likes that. Oh, the battery's dead. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. I've never seen it light up like that, but it's uh, not that. I tapped the uh, drill button and it has two bars apparently, so we're gonna let that be. Might have to test that old video I just did because it made 50 something watts off two. What if I put three or four on it? Would it make 75, 100 watts in its current configuration? Was the limitation just its heaters? I don't know, but if you see that video in between, check it out. But let's go test this at the water.